Well, I'm sitting here in my truck getting ready to go out to the lakes again. Um, but this video is going to be a little bit different. You know, this year, this summer, it's been really difficult to get out on the lakes and get rings. We had a lot of flooding in our area in the spring and a lot of the Corps of Engineer lakes. The swimming areas were shut down and they just now recently opened up. So there hasn't been a lot of swimming, therefore not a lot of rings and stuff to find. And uh, just been traveling to different states and just looking for new places to hunt. And just there's not a lot of rings. I mean, last year at this time, I'm pushing 60 something rings. This year, I'm just in the 30s. And uh, just finding it real difficult to even get enough footage to even make a video. So uh, that's the case this week. Uh, I got a new video coming out uh, that y'all probably going to see. But you've already seen it by the time you watch this video. But uh, but I'm just going to do a compilation video from all, for all of the rings that I have found, gold rings that is, from last year up to now. I'm just going to put together all the gold ring footage that I have. And I've got some other gold rings too. The two biggest gold rings I've ever found. One is a $5,000 gold ring, uh, one carat diamond, teardrop with uh, a halo around it I found. and uh, But that's sitting on my wife's finger right now. I gave that to her for our 31st and uh, 30th anniversary. And then I have another um, ring that I found that is before I uh, really started shooting videos last year, just right before I started shooting videos. And it's a white gold, 14 karat white gold, 1.6 karat diamonds. How about that? And that's a big ring. And uh, but it won't be in the video. I didn't get the footage of it, but I'll show a picture of it in the in the still. But anyway, I hope you enjoy this compilation video of all the gold rings that I found in the last year. And I'm out in the lakes this week trying to get some more footage and get some more rings, but there's just not a lot of rings this year. Uh, a lot of competition here where I live, and uh, so we're, we'll get out there, get our best shot, and get another video out for you pretty soon. So until then, hey, I just wish you happy hunting. Stay cool in this heat. It's hot here in Texas, so stay cool, happy hunting, and I'll see you on the next time. Fifty-eight. 57, 60, this could be a, we're just ringing up as a pull tab, but you know what they say about pull tabs, you dig them all because it could be a gold ring. Let's see what we got. Looky there. We got us a gold ring. Gold wedding band. Uh, let's see. R. R something on the bottom of it. I can't really read that. But there's no doubt it's a ten or fourteen karat gold. Somebody's wedding band has a name on it. If I can make out this name later on on the cleanup and the wrap up, I'll look at the name under my loop and see who it might be and maybe do a Facebook search and see if we can't find it, the owner to this and give it back to them. Wedding bands are very sentimental. That little group of kids that uh or my new fan club going to subscribe and watch my videos uh, they asked me what I was doing I told them I was out looking for rings and this ring here in particular which is a white gold heart ring with diamonds and uh, before I could get up to the uh, shore to do some detecting up there to try to locate it they found it already for me and they were kind enough to bring it out to me and so they could, did their good deed and uh, and helped me to find this ring today and I appreciate that. So a shout out to those kids. I don't know where they're from, but uh, maybe they'll watch this video and they'll comment. But thank you kids for going out there and trying to help me find a ring. Till the next one. That is a yellow gold ring, my friends, with a couple of diamonds on the side and some type of stone. 
I'm not sure. Let me clean it up a second. See if I can't get a marking off of it. Couldn't get a marking. It's too small for me to read. But I'll tell you what. That's ring seven or eight. I done lost count. This is one of the best lakes I've ever detected. That's a pretty ring. I was actually on my way out, had a straight line down to my truck and working this one more line and I'm glad I did. There we go. Uh oh, I just lost it in the water. Had to dig it up again. I found it. Well, on my way out of here, I hate to leave. I'm gonna have to come back. Definitely this lake has not been hunted, but uh, it's time to go and I've got a ways to drive home. Well, this was ringing up a 70, a 72, and it's because of a, it's a nugget and the very uneven edges. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be real gold or not. It may be 10 karat. It's a little tarnished. I doubt the diamonds are real. I bet they're CCs. We'll have to check them out. I've dug one like this before. It turned out to be a 10 karat gold ring, uh, but with CZs. But anyway, it's my second ring out here at the mother load. I've gotten about four ear rings. A lot of coins um, and this is my second ring so till the next mother load lake is still producing this is my tenth ring and my second visit here I'll take it Wow, I've been digging stainless steel rings all day long. And I've been wanting a gold ring. I came over here re real quick. I'm just about out of daylight. And I came over here to this last little swimming hole where I got a diamond ring one time. Silver. But that's got all types of beautiful stones in it. I think it says 14K. Wow, my first target. I just walked in the, the pond, the, the uh, swimming area. Boy, I'll take that. That's a keeper. That's a good way to end the day. That's ring number 12 today. Unbelievable day. Praise God. I just literally got here. I just pulled up right up there. I walked down this far and I got a real scratchy signal. And it was a 48, 49. Thought it was a pull tab, gonna dig it. And dug the hole right there. And then I kicked the dirt, and look what came out. That is a gold ring. Wow, that's unreal. This is ring number eight for today. I'll take that. Hey guys, I'm glad you're tuning in. Very special day today. I love it when uh, I get a chance to return a ring. Uh, I, I have a lady that lets me detect all of her rental properties and uh, one day we were talking and I was explaining what I do and everything and she told me that when she was a, a, a high school senior in 1976 I believe is when it was that she had lost her senior ring out at their lake house and I told her when it warmed up I would go out there and I would look for it well June came around and I went out there and in the meantime her brother had told her that he had lost his ring out there too so there's two class rings I think 1976 and 1984 and uh, so I went out there that first day back in June and I found it in 34 minutes and uh, this is the ring right here I found his ring the brother's ring and uh, 1984 so it's been lost for a long time it was just barely under the surface but I found it and it uh, was all tarnished up and it cleaned up really nice I'll put some pictures in there in the video there to let you see but I never did return it until today because I hunted out through summer and letting the lake water get lower and lower to try to find her ring and I wanted to do a double ring return and I just never found her ring but anyway we're we're going to just take the brother's ring back over there 
and maybe one day I'll go back and try to find her. So the next scene is when I get there and we return this ring. Well, I got a solid 51. I thought it was going to be a nickel and dug it up and it's going to be a, a white gold and yellow gold ring. This is this is nice. Come over here and see a little bit better. I uh, can't see any markings out here in the sun, but I know it's gold ringing up as a 51. The way it's shining. Well, that's pretty, isn't it? All right, I was just about ready to quit, but now got me a second win. My first good target. All right. Let's keep on going. Well, I did some research, came out to a new lake that I've never been here before. As far as I know, no one else has ever been here either. And uh, dug a few coins already, but here's my first uh, target. It's definitely a 2012 class ring, uh, ringing up to like a 70. So it uh, most likely is going to be gold. Uh, there's some markings in it. Let's see. If I can find out what it says. Well, I can't tell what it says. I sure wish I had young eyes again. Uh, I can't tell, but anyway, we'll clean it up and see what it is. But that's first good find. Let's keep on going. Maybe this will be a good day.